quick talk before I begin this video. So all the photos that you are about to see were taken on this lens, which I literally bought like the day before I did the shoot with Molly, who you guys will see in a bit. Hence why the title of this video. All right, and today I'm gonna be shooting with uh, Molly. Come on out, Molly. She's <laughs> right over there. Wait, come closer to the camera. So Molly's gonna be my model for today. A little chilly, and I'm making her wear some bikinis, so like, um, you're gonna have to like suck it up. I know, it's fine. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm wearing I'm wearing shorts too, so that so that you know she's not the only one suffering. So yeah, we're in Center Island today, and the reason why we chose morning because nobody's really around the island during the morning, which is why we chose to shoot at this time. So yeah, stay tuned. First location or first spot is just right over here. Yeah, this wasn't really part of the original plan because I I told Molly to like, how about we just we just change our outfit right here right now. And then I was like, wait, you know what? This spot looks pretty cool. So I'm like, okay, we just we just use the spot as like our first spot, I guess. <laughs> I'm like directing Molly to like do whatever, but there's literally bugs everywhere in everywhere. this building. The back is even more crab. Okay. Yeah. That's even hard. Right. I didn't even notice. Yeah. I cut it with an exacto knife. I was like shooting with a photographer and he was like really dark and cool. Yeah. And he was like, Can you, can I get a video of you cutting this shirt really? with a knife? And I was like, Okay. And I'm like trying to be perfect with it, you know? He goes, No, just, just do it. I was like, Okay. <laughs> like literally sliced it with a knife and it actually came out kind of cool. Yeah. Guys, look, this is outfit of the day right here. Outfit of the day. Where are the glasses from, by the way? Up and Armed in Toronto, a little boutique mm. uh, on Queen West. She's incredible. Support yeah. local business. Yes. I was, I was hoping for a ray bounce like that, but you know what? I think I'll just go to them instead. And I kind of want to get like a charm to put here, like a lightning bolt or yeah. like a rose or oh, something. That's sick. Wouldn't that be cool? Look at that. O O T D, outfit of the day. O O T D. The shoes even match. Oh yeah! <laughs> By the way, guys, on the first, on the first, uh, I guess set that we were shooting with the blue bikini and whatever, we had the shoes on, but like I tried, I tried to not get it in the shot, so I think I did a good job. Oh my right God, now one just she has us. the bathrobe, but technically <laughs> it doesn't look like a bathrobe from here. Guys, it looks we're like a trench coat, like a fancy trench coat. We're making it. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, bougie AF. It says, "Please keep out." Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in. <laughs> oh, but well, that's a cool spot though. I think we can like, let's maybe take a few shots here. Oh, damn! <laughs> I will literally jump in the water. There's literally so many like flies or mosquitoes oh here. I guess they're called mosquitoes. Hey duckies, can you like please leave us alone? Thank you. <laughs> if you want to like get past us, just go around over there. Alright, so cause cause we're in the middle of the photo shoot right now. It's super windy. I'm freezing. So I literally have seven shots left on my phone, so we're just gonna burn it through quickly. Yes. All right, so 
I freaking love this lens. I know I said the same thing with the uh, 7200 f2.8 lens that I had a vlog on previously, but I would say that this lens is up there in my opinion because it's lighter than the other two lenses that i own this one is about 1.6 pounds which is pretty light in my opinion it also goes from 24 to 120 millimeter focal range which is the most useful focal range and on top of that it's at an f4 constant aperture now i know it's not an f2.8 lens but for me personally i don't really care and i don't think your clients or your models would care anyways except for like the gearheads out there who like to you know, get really technical with their stuff. Now, the constant f4 aperture is good enough for me anyways. Like, I don't really need any of these crazy bokehs like, you know, the f2.8, 1.8, uh, 1.4, 1.2 lenses. Especially when I'm shooting outside, like, f4 is already good enough for me. And if I, like, really want to, like, achieve that crazy bokeh look, for me personally, I would just, you know, zoom out into, like, the longer focal length because the f4 is good enough for that you know the f4 can achieve that for you there are a few other people out there who are not really a fan of this lens and i don't know why but for me and a lot of other photographers this lens is freaking amazing now if you're someone who's going out on an adventure or if you know you're going to be locking locking walking for a long time and you want to be traveling light this lens is the lens i would recommend for you now when i bought this lens i only paid 530 dollars for it which is a huge huge steal for me because the retail price cost around oh i'm talking about canadian dollars so i paid 530 canadian dollars used for it and the retail price is around 1400 canadian dollars and that's before tax and i know there are some uh, people out there who are selling this lens used for about 700 to 800 Canadian dollars, which is, you know, this is a huge steal for me. Now, I know I was a little bit skeptical at first um, when I met with the seller and I saw this lens for the first time, but there is literally no scratches on the body or on the lens at all. There is no fungus or dust inside the lens and there's no separation. And this lens literally is in mint condition like it just came out of the box brand new. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's so meh. Like, it's in really, really good condition. Like, none of the markings and numbers are faded. Not even the gold is faded. Like, it's it literally looks brand new for me. Like, it's a huge deal. And obviously, you know, when I met with the seller, I tested this lens out and, like, it worked fine. I mean, obviously, as you can see by the vlog, like, this lens was working fine. All the photos turned out great. So, yeah. I also forgot to mention that this lens has a 77 millimeter filter thread. Um, so what I have on it is actually this black pro mist filter uh, That I use so all the photos that you saw were actually taken with this black pro mist uh, This is at the uh, one half strength and Yeah, it, it uses a 77 millimeter filter and you will definitely be seeing me shoot this lens a lot And I mean a lot I will be using this lens a lot and I, I don't know how many times I have to say the word a lot But I will use this lens a lot because it has everything I need it has vibration reduction, um, you can see right there, VR, which stands for vibration reductions. So that means if you're gonna be shooting at the longer focal length, which is like 120, 85 or something, something like that, and you're gonna be shooting it handheld, no tripod, you're not gonna get any shaky results. And yeah, that is all the talk that I have for this lens. So um, ending the video here. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. All right, hope you guys like today's video. If you do like it, please like, like oh my God, I can't even talk, it's so cold. <laughs> Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.